This is Dabu7. It has been a minute since we have talked about the Doomsday Clock. Now they're saying that they are adjusting this, and they're also saying that we got through 2017 by the skin of our teeth, and there seems to be something in the air that has the scientists or the ones that are in charge of this, the Bulletin of Atomic Scientists is what they're called. They have advanced the clock one notch closer after what they say is a grim assessment of state geopolitical affairs. It's hard to argue with the assessment is what they say here in this article. But as we look at some of the things they're talking about, they cite some of the same things we've seen before. They cite North Korea, the tensions there, other world leaders and powers. Now this most recent move was a 30-second move. So they moved it 30 seconds, bringing it to two minutes till, and they're saying that there wasn't any one factor that led to this. They're saying it was kind of a culmination in terms of all the things going on on the planet. And you could cite all the states that have nuclear ambitions, all the tensions of war, staged events, and they even mention climate change in this. So all of this stuff together, whether it's part of an agenda or not, they're throwing it into their calculation here, and we're back at two minutes till midnight. So, and we can only get closer and closer at this point if things continue to go downhill on this planet. And to me, things are never going to change until the people rise up and remove the wickedness from power. There are enough of you. It just seems most of you are complacent. Everyone seems to think that, oh, I can't do nothing. Little old me. What most people don't realize is little old me adds up to a massive unit of power. One that they fear tremendously. I'm just waiting to see the people utilize their numbers. The power is in the people in the politics that we address. I'll leave a link. Spindapu 7.